What is up, everyone? Sorry, I'm flipping the camera over so I can hold it a little easier. What we have up and boil it a little bit more. There we go. So, I'll open this bag. And uh, I'm just going to toss in a bunch of leaves. A bunch of dandelion leaves. I picked these from my yard yesterday. Kept them in the fridge in a bag. I don't use any sprays or anything on my yard, so I'm not worried about it. Just so we are boiling. So while those are doing their thing there, I'm going to take you out and I'll show you the yard. So these are our dandelions. If anyone doesn't know what we're talking about, they come in two varieties. There's these kind, you know, and that's how they spread their good stuff everywhere. And then there's these yellow ones. Um, so as you can see, I have no shortage of dandelions on my yard here. Uh, but you can see, you just come out here and there's the leaves. Uh, when humans eat them, uh, you prefer to pick them while they're young. Uh, the smaller leaves, be while they're still little a little more rounded like that that's the younger leaves they're a little rounded and then the adult leaves start to get a little bit spikier like that uh, but that's that's these are the leaves I'm cooking up in there and they're probably about done you really only want to do it for about boil them for about a minute or two just to soften them up break up that cellulose and uh, get them able to to eat so I'm gonna turn that off And give them a little stir. You can see some of the chloroform, chlorophyll came out of <laughs> chloroform, chlorophyll came out into the water there. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed while holding the camera, so it's probably a little shaky. I'm sorry for that. Uh, but what I'm doing here is I'm just getting a piece of paper towel. Hi, prolific, prolific Bree. How are you? This is what we end up with, something like this. Dandelion leaves. So Mid-Saturday dandelion leaf preparation. Because as you know, Saturday is for the shrimps. I forget who says that, but someone says that. All right, looking good. Let's go. Let's go feed some of these bad boys. Down to the shrimp room. Down to up. Oh, let me close this door. Down to the shrimp room. It's a mess down here, but don't pay attention to that. So shrimpies, shrimpies. Come on, Dex. My dog's coming. She likes hanging out with me. Right, Dexaroni? Yeah. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and just start dropping some leaves in these tanks. I try to get them to sink. Sometimes they don't sink. Sometimes they do. I think the longer you boil them for, they'll sink. They sink a little easier sometimes. I'm just going to add one of these leaves to each one of the tanks here. Sorry about that. That happens when we get down into the shrimp room, too much water around. Flipping the camera. And then for the blue dreams. These blue dreams I got from Sai Kong. Oh, but they're all very nice looking. Fairly dark blue dreams.
<laughs> Everyone's gonna get some leaves. You get some leaves. Some of the Sulawesi blue ghosts. You can get some leaves. Are you guys out at all? I can see any of you. There's one hanging out back there a little bit. Yes, I'm selling my PRLs. My PRLs are pretty much the only thing I'm selling, but um, I'm getting low on them. And they are, the ones I have left are actually fairly small juvies. So these are the one stripe and extreme Red King Kongs from Klamski. Klamski's the man, by the way. I love his shrimp. So we'll get some in for them. Get some in for the Red Tigers. The Red Tigers are hard to see on this uh, cafe substrate. But once they get on the green, we'll see. Red Tigers came from Jeff Libber. These are some pure black line shrimp. These came from Plamsky as well. My normal uh, Sulawesi tank. My Cardinals. And I also just added some, some um, Zebra Babalti in here. So maybe we'll catch a glimpse of one of them. But I just put them in yesterday. They seem to be doing okay this morning because I had them in this breeder box over here. Not to get off the feeding, but I had them in this breeder box. And they were doing good, so I put them into the main tank. And one of them was a buried mama. So hopefully we'll have some nice zebra babalti in here. As long as well, along with these Silhouette Cardinals. Uh, but anyway, continuing, we have to... More leaves. More leaves. Okay, so some of my painted fires. We'll get some leaves. These guys are fairly nice. So they get some leaves. Orange eye blue tigers. They can get some leaves. Yeah, I really like my sh my my shrimp. I'm getting some nice collection going. Thank you for noticing. These are orange eye red ghosts. These guys came from Andrew Wayne. Um, these are some uh, cherries I got from the LFS, as well as um, some of the culls from the painted tank. Um, and here we have the black rose. Um, give them a little bit. Um, here's the zebra bobaltis. They'll come forward for the leaves, I'm sure. Uh, but I can probably get a nice shot of a couple. There's one creeping up, but he's facing the wrong direction. Up oh, there's a buried mama back there on the filter. These are actually a type of caradina, but I have them in neo parameters, and they are doing great. So that's fantastic. Uh, my orange or pumpkin shrimp, pumpkin pumpkins. These guys are getting fairly nice and orange. V stag, love you. Yep, I will see you at Aquatic Experience for sure, buddy. We have my blue diamond to black diamonds. And then some Bloody Marys. These are from So Shrimp. I think I'm lacking a male in this tank though. There's only four or five females. And then up here we have some green jades that there's not many of and they're small. But I traded some PRL for them as well. Um, and then here we have uh, these are called the blue calls from the blue sapphire shrimp, which are still there's definitely some sapphire shrimp in here still. 
And these are the brown poles down here from the sapphire shrimp. So I separated them out. We have high grade Nanasi from Selene and Flip Aquatics. A high grade trio. Next to that, we have some white ghost bees. And then over here, from Shrimp Art, from Mopo, um, courtesy of Jerry and David, we have some dancing men. The dancing men. The dancing men. Uh, unfortunately, none of them are at the right angles to see the patterns. So... I just actually just got them a couple days ago, so that's good. Um, here's my Bloody Mary tank that I'm starting from my own jeans. Uh, these are this whole tank, all of them that came out of here were thrown by the Blue Diamonds. So did the Dancing Man get some leaves? Yes, they did. Bloody Marys can have some. And my red really over here. Again, sorry about the shakiness. I'm feeding and holding the camera all with one hand. It's not the easiest. Here's my second colony of fire reds. Very nice. The light up here fell in the water. That's why these two tanks aren't lit at the moment. I shorted out the light. So, I'm going to have to deal with that at some point. Okay, over here, over here. So we have our Santas, Super Crystal Red Santas. These came from uh, Eric Lucas and were bred by Vin. Got a couple buried females in here. They're gonna get a leaf. And down here we have my Pintos. We have some nice there's a fish bone there, a couple Germans, a couple zebras, a couple black zebras, red Germans. They get a leaf. Down here, of course, we have our PRLs. They get a leaf. Um, my pure red line, as you can see, I'm running kind of low. So, if you're interested in pure red line, um, I'm a little low at the moment, but give me a month or two. Um, I have a bunch in the pond that I can show you that are growing out that I can sell. And then these are uh, the yellow neos from Bernie Guest 3. One of supposed to be one of the best line of yellow neos around. Got a bunch of buried females in this tank too. So that's awesome, awesome, awesome. And then we could crawl. I, I don't feel like crawling back there, but I could show you through the peep hole. Um, this is the pure blue tank. Um, so if you were interested, there's actually a bunch of uh, juvies and pee wild, peewees in this tank. They came from the same colony, so they're basically the same shrimp. Um, but I'm to the point where all the ones from my main colony are gone are getting gone i could probably do these for three or four bucks each since they're so small they're almost like peewees and they're coming from the pond um but once they get a little bit older the price goes up so if you want them get a hold of me on facebook asap um they will be peewees though but i could probably do them for yeah uh, three or four bucks each depending on how many you want uh, but they'd be coming out of the pond how do you message me? Send my name is uh, Chris Roma. You can find me Chris Roma on Facebook, or you could like the Roma Aquatics Facebook page um, and get a hold of me that way. Although the page is manager for Facebook, when you're trying to communicate through the through the Roma Aquatics page, is kind of a pain. So I prefer that you message me personally. All right, but that's it. I'm getting ready to go to a cool thing that Buffalo is having today called Porch Fest. Uh, but as you can see, they're loving these dandelion leaves. Porch Fest is today, which is basically all, if you're in a band, in a local band, you basically go out on your porch and you play. And there's a whole neighborhood where basically all the bands. I'm good. I am very good.
So you can see the shrimp really like the dandelion. They attack it as soon as they smell it. Let's go over here. Some of the first tanks I added it to. Oh yeah. Look at them. Get a view from over here. And them shadows in the pandas and the black king cat king kongs. They're loving that. Um, my blue bees, they they chill. They only seem to come out when they're doing the dance of the males. Otherwise, I never saw them. I kind of wish I had them on black too to make them easier to see. And yellow king kong. All right, I think that's it, guys. I'm going to call it quits on this one because i got to go get ready for Porch Fest. Um, so I will see you guys next time. Later all.